here we are, end of day one working of 15. Um, and you can hear the noise there where we've got a tropical downpour happening. I haven't seen it rain like this. Ooh, I'm not sure the last couple of trips, it's been a while. Um, I'll turn it around and, and just show you what it looks like. So there you go, that's, we've got the spotlight out here. This is about to call a shower. And uh, we're in the second floor. Unfortunately, this here, this is our bamboo uh, drainage cutter. G'day. Well, last night we got a big downpour. Rained actually most of the night. Like quite a lot of rain. Uh, what was really interesting from that that I just want to show you today is we'd done uh, these swales that you can see behind me that we haven't uh, covered in grass, which now we're paying the price for that because it's really muddy. But up here now I'm just going to turn the camera and up here we did cover with grass but more interesting is are we going to look at this up here oh wow even to here um, up here the silt that has come in from one big downpour is quite amazing so on this side of the road sorry at, at this part now the one, the drain across the road uphill from this didn't work at all. It uh, just hasn't been maintained and it does, it's not performing its job. This one is, however, from last time. So that's really good. And I'm glad now that we did what we did yesterday. This was the first job because I did notice anything that came to there was flowing straight over the top where that mound now is. But look at it. All the silt that's actually come down here so this was a, a drain. I've got, if you've seen my previous video, where it shows the um, more or less a drain cut out and through here. It's completely full of silt. A lot of silt has come down and all the way down to up here. Now there's also, there was water in this swale uh, around there near the chicken coop, uh, which is a good, oh, I suppose, 25, 30 metres along the swale. So that was doing its job well. Um, it just shows that we really need to make sure that we clean these out regularly. And I've said to the guys, particularly after, and they haven't been able to do it yet, but um, I've said to Uncle, he's, as caretaker, this should be his job. We need to shovel this out or get somebody to come in and shovel this out now. And we'll do this uh, tomorrow or the next day. We'll, we'll clean this out again and get it ready for the next downpour. Now we also went and had a look this morning at what we can do up there because obviously that's not working at all over there. And all the way down this track, there's places where we need to dig decent drains and I'm gonna get a crew onto that over the next week or two. So uh, yeah, this, is, this was really interesting to see it as it's happened. I'm also seeing where the chickens are getting in. There's lots of chicken tracks here. This is where they're coming through. So I think my priorities this time are going to be uh, securing the road first up. Um, I've almost given up on my water project, but I've got to keep working at that one, uh, pumping up from down near the river. But we're going to get the fences. I've, I've got to control them chickens. So we're going to focus our efforts on that uh, during this trip. Anyway, just a little update. We'll see you later.